Kristen, I'm Assistant Curator at California Academy of Sciences, and today we're going to go into our insect holding room where we keep our backup insects and where our butterflies emerge before they come onto exhibit. So we don't actually allow our butterflies to reproduce in our exhibit for two reasons. One, the, the caterpillars would probably eat our rainforest in the ground in very short order. And the other is that the USDA, which controls our containment of these butterflies, do not want to have our butterflies reproduce our exhibit since they're exotic. So to prevent them from reproducing, we make sure that we don't plant any host plants for the caterpillars of our butterfly species. This way, we can't support the, uh, the caterpillars, they will not reproduce the exhibit. So we bring in new people fresh every week. So we get our butterflies in each week as pupa from Cooperative Farms in Costa Rica. They harvest a sustainable harvest of the pupa and then ship them to us for our exhibit. Um, since we do not have butterflies reproducing on exhibit, we need to bring in new pupa each week to keep our exhibit going. These are blue morpho pupa. Um, you can tell that they're uh, active because they're wiggling around already. We will pin these up through this little silk piece at the end so that we don't damage the pupa at all. And we'll pin them on a board and put them in our temperature humidity control chambers where they emerge and every day we release the emerged butterfly adults on exhibit. So one of the things that I love about this job of taking care of the butterflies is to see the diversity of the pupa and how beautiful they are. Uh, we have about 30 different species on our permit list so we end up bringing in a pretty diverse number of butterflies each week and the pupa are almost as beautiful as the butterflies. Some of them look like little jewels. These are my favorites right here. These are Greta Autos. And when emerged, the butterfly wings are see-through, are transparent. I think they have the most beautiful pupa of all our species. And over here we have Sarab is pinning the pupa through the through this silk and placing them on a board so that when we hang them in the chamber, they will hang freely down and have enough space for the butterflies to emerge and, and pump their wings up successfully. This is our emergence chamber for the butterflies. We control the temperature and humidity to make it as tropical as possible. And you can see here is a pupa of a Caligo owl butterfly that emerged today and the left over the remnants of the pupa is just a papery skin. This is one that hasn't emerged yet. Every day in the morning, we check for emerged butterflies and put them in a cage and bring them up to the rainforest and release them. And then we record everything that's emerged so we can keep track of how we're doing with our emergencies. Most of the pupa you see here will emerge within the next seven days. And then in the exhibit, of course, we provide flowering plants and nectar to keep the butterflies going.